mindfulness-based cognitive therapy to decrease the relapse in chronically depressed persons. Qualitative Journal Article Review Bihari and Mullen Relating Mindfully, a Qualitative Exploration of Changes in Relationships Through Mindfulness-Based Cognitive Therapy Mindfulness, 5, 46-59 Statement of Problem This article addresses the need to decrease the possibility of relapse in chronically depressed persons. The researchers analyze the relationships between interpersonal processes, chronic depression, and mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, MBCT. Since people with chronic depression may themselves, unintentionally, actively generate interpersonal stress, it is extremely important to thoroughly explore the issue and contribute to the development of the theoretical model that will underpin MBCT. Literature Review Many studies guided and precipitated this research. For example, the authors discussed the differential activation hypothesis, or the interacting cognitive subsystems model, ICS, described by Teasdale and Barnard. Further, they based their findings on qualitative research by Allen et al., Smith et al., and others. Finally, the authors mentioned that MBCT integrated components of the Mindfulness Based Stress Reduction, MBSR, program created by Kabat Zinn. This article focused on their definition of mindfulness as paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment, and non judgmentally. Research questions being investigated. According to Bihari and Mullen, the research question was, what are the interpersonal change processes associated with MBCT? Method Participants There were 11 participants who have completed the MBCT program in the past three years. They had to fit this requirement and give their informed consent. Materials the researchers used semi-structured interviews and then conducted an in-depth analysis of participants' change processes. Procedure The researchers gained the necessary information through interviews, conducted a literature review, and analyzed the data. Data analysis The data was collected through a literature review and two levels of semi-structured interviews. First, they transcribed and then analyzed the data. Results The main findings were organized into the three domains of context, change processes, and changes in relationships. The clinical relevance of the findings is that they are helpful to both medical providers and patients with chronic depression. Implications Implications for counselors, clients, and counseling the implications of the findings for the counselors and counseling are that this research provides specific steps that will be useful for patients with chronic depression and can be implemented by medical providers to help them. For example, the authors explain how mindfulness practices enable the process of stepping back into a reflective space, and it can be used by counselors. As for the implications for the patients, they can become more educated about the context of their depressive episodes and the ways to deal with them. Discussion Summary The original research purpose was to define the interpersonal change processes related to MBCT. The findings outlined in the diagrammatic representation entirely supported and answered the research question. Interpretation It is possible to say that the conclusions made by the authors are warranted and relevant, and there are no viable alternative explanations of the results and findings. The study's strengths include that it will remain useful through the years and that the findings are divided into the three categories that make the study structured. The authors provide new information valuable for further studies. The limitation is that there could have been a sampling bias. According to Bihari and Mullen, a circular research process was adopted in that the researcher collected data, conducted analyses, revisited raw data and collected further data at interdependent stages until theoretical saturation was achieved. Additionally, the research design was grounded in theory, and its salient feature was that priority was given to the emergent data over theoretical assumptions. Ethical considerations of the study include the fact that the participation was voluntary and anonymous, and participants signed consent. For further study 
there are some recommendations for future research that will contribute to the overall information about the topic under study. To begin with, it is essential to explore particular change processes of MBCT so that the underpinning theoretical framework may be developed. Additionally, during future research, it is necessary to include more follow-up interviews to encourage a more in-depth exploration through building trust and allowing participants more time to notice and reflect on changes. Finally, it would be helpful to conduct further studies to recheck the information and findings.